48 days. 48 rotten days of being out here in the North Atlantic. The use of the snorkel has made conditions inside the boat almost unbearable. The constant warship and aircraft activity of broken spirits. Morale is at an all-time low. U-531 will be wrapping up her 12th patrol soon. Fuel is down to 65%, and most of the food supply has gone bad at this point. The Battle of the Atlantic has turned decisively against us. There is no doubt about that. The fighting in Europe is not much better. The war will be over for us soon, one way or the other. I just hope we'll be able to see our homes and family again, and not spend eternity in our iron coffin. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome to episode number 5 of our 12th patrol in our Silent Hunter 3 series. As you can see, U-531 is sitting at periscope depth, and we have an interesting development, which I will show now on the hydrophone. And at around 312 degrees, yeah, 310. I don't know if you folks can hear that. That is two warships heading straight for us. Oh, there we go. Two contacts moving fast, closing, bearing 312 and 314, respectively, and here they are. Um... Yeah, I'm starting right off the bat with some action, it seems like. Here's our current position. We're currently on grid BE-99, attempting to catch some convoys uh, going to and from Canada. But we'll see what these enemy warships are up to if they're heading directly for me. It looks like they're actually heading south. Let's adjust our course slightly. New heading, uh, 270. And turn, and maybe we can take a peek at them. See how far? Around 14 kilometers, more or less. Let's go ahead and rig for silent running as well. While I am thinking about it, I think these guys are well outside of um, detection range. I'm not too worried about it. I'm not going to fire upon them. Firing at two of them would be... Uh, <laughs> one, one mighty difficult. If one torpedo managed to miss and one hit, we would be hunted. And another, sinking another a destroyer in these conditions really just is not worth the risk. Okay, up periscope. Let's see, where is that guy? Mm, I got nothing out there on the horizon at zero one zero. All right, down scope. No need to keep it up. Yeah, they actually, they actually are coming kind of towards us. Looks like this one's zigzagging about here, which is interesting. All right, let's see. Up scope, three five five. I'm just curious more than anything. Oh, there we go. There she is. Yep, two stacker. There's the the trailing warship. This looks like two destroyers to me. Nothing exciting. Okay, in that case, down scope. Don't want our scope to be picked up on radar. These uh, seas are pretty flat, so it would be easy for them to do so. And we're going to drop down to 80 meters now and lay nice and low. Oh my god, there's a plane right above us. Now that probably saw our periscope. Interesting. It's heading south very fast. I thought I heard splashes, but I didn't... I'm not too confident. I'll have to go back and review that. That could have been very bad, actually. Um, let's keep an eye on these destroyers. Are they heading towards us? No, they're continuing onward. May have just been chance. I'm sure if the enemy aircraft did actually pick us up, it would have most certainly let those warships there now, and they'd be racing here. So I don't think the, the enemy aircraft saw us. All right, I think we're okay. Wow, what a development. Okay, we're currently going down to 80 meters. 
and those warships are continuing on their merry way, which is very good for us. Now to give a little uh, situation report on U-531, that was <laughs> quite exciting. Uh, we were in the middle of loading uh, tube number five here. However, we did go to silent running, so that prevents us from reloading torpedoes as it is a noisy process. Uh, we'll still, I'm just watching these guys, making sure. Okay, they're going into our baffles now. All right, but I was reloading this guy, but we had to stop due to silent running. Uh, the torpedo situation is more or less the same as uh, previously. We still have our FAT-2 loaded up in case we happen to run across a convoy. That is the whole reason we are currently here, is to uh, find a convoy. Um, if we do not, I may head you know, southeast to grid DF as it is a little bit safer before heading all the way back home. Fuel is something we need to consider at this point. We're down to around 65%. We still have some legs, don't get me wrong, but just something we want to eyeball as the patrol continues. And the date, it is November 4th, 1944, and it's 6.20 in the morning. And it started off quite interesting indeed. That's really all I have to report. The crew's actually doing okay, surprisingly. I'm not having, I guess these fellows are pretty tired. The crew's starting to get a little tired. I may have to rotate them in and out here. My hydrophone operator has definitely been uh, getting a lot of work uh, these past few patrols as we're submerged quite often. I may have to swap him out here soon so he can get some rest. But other than that, uh, U-531's looking pretty good. We still have damage on our flat guns. Uh, but I'm not going to surface to repair that. That's just pointless. Um, it would, really makes no sense to do that. Okay. Well, I'll set up some sort of patrol grid in this area. I'm really hoping we can stumble across a convoy. Um, that's really the only way we're going to be able to find one. Because we can't really surface and chase them down effectively without being bombed to hell. So, that's the current plan. All right, we got something. Large convoy closing, medium speed off to the north here. We are adjusting our course in an attempt to intercept. We have quite a few warships, 284 moving fast. Wow, this is a huge convoy. Make sure we have everything I want loaded up. We're currently sitting at 26 meters. Yeah, there's quite a few of them out there. Okay, adjust course, stand by. Uh, zero four zero, please. Trying to establish which direction these guys are heading. It looks like they're heading southwest, so we need to turn on over. I'm gonna have to kind of sprint here, as we're only going three knots at the moment, and they are just whizzing right past us. Okay, increase speed to standard underwater. Moving four knots, five knots now. Get an approximate range, 14 kilometers. Man, this is gonna be hard. All ahead flank. This is going to drain battery power extremely quickly. We're already down to, what, 60%? And we're also making a lot of noise. This is the only way we're going to be able to find them. I'm going to have my hydrophone operator begin to sweep. I don't know if we're going to be able to get even close enough. It's currently 8.35 in the morning. So I have a feeling... Okay, that warship is closing. I have to get within 5 kilometers to launch my torpedoes. If I can get within that, we're golden. Uh, the problem is getting there underwater, moving six knots, and the convoy's passing me by. Ah, oh, damn. It's, uh, this is looking like it'll be quite the challenge. Okay, re stop. All, he all ahead slow. Rig for silent running up to periscope depth. Let's go ahead and get these boys on there. Oh, wow, my crew's starting to get tired. Let's get some other petty officers on the hydrophone. Let's switch out some of these men. Which one of you is my repairman? Well, we'll move you up when you're needed. Okay. This is looking all right. 
get these men in the bow and stern torpedo room just in case we take damage there. They can help make repairs. Let's see if we're even remotely close enough. The boat is rising, passing 22 meters now. This is going to be interesting for sure. Let's adjust course 310, please. It's very possible they heard us making all that racket. 18, 17. Okay, the boat is at periscope depth now. Up scope. Okay, scope is raised. There we go. Destroyer escort. Tankers. They have an aircraft carrier in the middle. Another destroyer escort. Another one there at 060. Okay. Let's see. Uh, down scope. Let's see how far away is this tanker here? Looks like a T2 or medium tanker. Let's see how far away it is. Lock on target. It's around the one and a half. Oh, forgot to plug it in. Just outside of range there. Oh, hell no. That's concerning, for sure. I don't think it... I think it turned away. May just be a routine little little sweep, right? Reduce speed to around uh, two knots. Up scope. Looks like it's just doing a routine search. Didn't actually see us. Keep our periscope nice and low on the water. I'm also, I need to be on high alert for enemy aircraft. Let's switch to the observation scope. Do a quick sweep of the airspace. As far as I know, okay, nothing. Down scope. I'm actually pretty worried about this one, folks. All right, T3 tanker, large tanker. Let's see how far away are you, my friend? And just one. I could try to... Is that a second carrier or am I crazy? No, no, it's not. It's crazy. I could try to start moving a little quicker now. Once again. Okay, we're going to have to increase speed to standard. Try to get into position here. It looks like this destroyer is actually turning away. One can hope. All right, we just gotta move fast enough and cover enough distance to fire at the rear of the convoy back here. Okay, reduce speed, slow. Up scope. Oh shit. Um. Crap. They heard us, that's Without a doubt, I don't think I'm going to be able to fire here one more time. I could try. I don't even know their speed, though. 5,000. They're out of range. Down scope. Down to 120, please. It's just so hard to get in range. 
when you can't position yourself in front of the convoy, you can't surface and go around them and lay in wait for them anymore. It's just uh, really luck of the draw. We are going to change course now, 210. How far away is that destroyer? That was... An... They know we're here. Is this it? This has to be it. Five, me, five kilometers away. Okay, and cruise speed, they already know we're here. Might as well get under quickly. Ah, oh, man. I shouldn't have accelerated. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just getting desperate here to get some torpedoes off, but man. Okay, well... That thing is hauling ass towards us. All ahead flank. Being pinged. Crash dive. Get this boat under. Decoy. My desperation may have killed us. Secure from silent running. I did not mean to raise the snorkel. Okay, we need to get under faster. Faster, faster, faster. Right, if they drop... I don't hear them yet. But if they throw their hedgehogs and we're only at 50 meters, we're fucked. I don't hear her yet. Please. Dev charges. That's behind us. Interesting. What did those... Is that the depth chart? That's not the destroyer. That, that may be an aircraft dropping those. The destroyer is still pinging us. And it is rapidly accelerating. Oh god. Okay, deeper, 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 deeper. Okay, turn hard starboard shit, she's right over us. Mother decoy. Cross your fingers, folks. Nothing I can do now. If it had hedgehogs, I would have expected them to hit us by now. So they either missed or don't have them. More zap charges in the water. Rattled. They were close, that's for sure. Reduce speed. Another decoy, please. Okay. Go down to 180, hold there. 
Neue Tiefe, 1,7 Meter. No damage. Get the rest. Round two. Okay, the boat is now down to 178 meters, more or less. We're still being pinged. Crease are getting more and more intense as we close on crush depth. We can go deeper, however, we have to keep in mind, our boat has taken significant damage, or quite a bit previously. That's a destroyer going all over the top. I'll hit flank. Where is she? Where is she, please? I think this direction we're going in is our best bet. This is going to be rough, that's for sure. We're, all, we're at 180 meters and we have not hit a thermal layer. That is also really concerning. Okay, the warship went over the top. No pinging. The depth charges are probably dropping down towards us now. We're pretty deep, 180 meters. It'll take them a while to get here. We'll maintain our flank speed. Lots of creaking. <laughs> Very unnerving. Okay, explosions. They're far away. Slow down. Behind us. Okay, reduce speed to 50 RPM, please. Perfect. Wow. Jeez, that pattern is just massive. Huge patterns they're dropping on us. So far we've been lucky though. I don't know how many are currently hunting me and the pinging and returns. I wonder if it's just a one. I firmly believe the others are on their way. Also, the aircraft uh, launched from that escort carrier are probably, you know, circling around waiting for us. is pretty rapid. Let's go deeper. Let's push 200. Hanging is stopped. Okay, it's resumed. Still moving, just barely. Just crawling. So just course 310. One is going over the top. Three three zero. You're ready to go to flank speed here soon. Okay. All ahead flank.
Okay, I think we will dodge this next uh, volley of depth charges. Feeling pretty good. I think that warship ran alongside us. I am pretty worried about hedgehogs, however. Those are going to be very nasty. I think we've, we're very lucky we haven't been hit by one yet. Let's wait for this next pattern to explode. We'll slow down now. Down back to 50 RPM and rig for silent running. Another massive pattern. Far away. I think that first pattern was definitely the closest. The one that rattled us about a little bit. Jeez. And these destroyer escorts carry an absurd amount of depth charges. So, if we were going to try to uh, get them to expend them all, I don't think that's really going to happen. I'm going to have to shake them. Still haven't hit a thermal layer either. Tough break. Okay, we have another one going right over the top, all ahead flank. Hard to starboard. Actually, rudder amidships, keep going. Let's go straight. No, 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 no. Maintain this depth. My frantic key presses, I'm hitting the wrong thing. Shit. Okay, flooding. Secure. Get it out, 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 out. Okay, we're maintaining 200 meters. We're not dropping any. Drop a decoy. 30 seconds until this water in the bow quarters is under control. Two minutes until it's under control in the sonar slash hydrophone room. Maintaining our depth though. We're okay. We're not sinking. That's the real worry here. Okay, 10 seconds. Looking good. All right. Pump this water out in the hydrophone room. Depth charge is exploding. Being rattled. Damn, that was too close. Okay, water's under control and water's out. Perfect. That was way too damn close. Way too close. Time to go deeper. 200. Oh man, but we're so damaged now. 210. We have to push it if we're going to survive. This is not good at all. Not good at all. Das Boot ist beschädigt, Herr Kaloy. Okay, I, we're, I think we're actually taking damage from water pressure at this point. I decided to level out at 204 meters. We got this message. The lights are flickering. We need to come up. We need to come up. Start moving a little faster. 
our boat is so damaged uh we're starting to take a lot of damage from you know how deep we are this is not good at all so we can't go any lower than 200. even at 200 i'm really nervous now okay go to 190 slow down we have a pretty good up angle now perfect down to 50 rpm Perfect. We need to we need to try to get out of here. Look how many are hunting us. Two, four, five, possibly another, possibly six. Plus aircraft support. Just dropping depth charges willy nilly. This one's pretty close, 200 meters away. Doing another run. Get ready to go to flank speed. All ahead flank. Another decoy. Ooh, shit. 